Hi guys and welcome back to Fit With Tea. I hope you guys are good. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to make your spikes last longer. So spike maintenance, okay? So a lot of times people get spiked and they mash up their spikes. We don't know what to talk about mash up, brock them down, make them dirty, messy. And I spoke about in my last video how I've had one of my spikes for at least a decade. But these are really old. I've had these ones probably a decade to be honest with you. And I thought, do you know what? I'm quite good at maintaining things. So let me give you guys a few tips. So the first tip I have for you guys is to have training spikes and competition spikes. So two different sets of spikes. So one for training and one for competition. And I understand that not everyone might be in a position to be able to do that. But if you can, have training spikes and have competition spikes. Try to keep them separately. I'm the kind of person that has like house clothes versus going out clothes and stuff like that. So it just makes your things last a lot longer. If you know that your spikes are just for training, you don't have to worry about them as much if they're getting wet or muddy or dirty or smelly, you know, or the, you know, the paint's wearing out. Like say, for example, with this, the plate starts to chip or the paint on the shoe or even the label sometimes starts to wear off depending on how it's made. Sometimes it can wear out quicker depending on how often you're actually using it. So if you can, I would encourage you to have training spikes and competition spikes. And what I like to do is usually the spikes that have now become old become my training spikes once i've had them for a year or two or once my training spikes become so worn that i really need to use different spikes for training sometimes the spikes that you get for training you might want to just get two pairs because they're great if they're not that expensive but if they're expensive save them for competition and they last a lot longer i've had some of my spikes like i said for years and the condition of them are still very good and so it's literally only to the point where they are either so worn down the plate is so worn down that i now change them over so if you can the tip is get have training spikes and then have competition spikes separately and only when it comes to the season and when it comes to wearing your spikes they're new you wear them in training or when it's competition season and you just want to wear them the last session before you compete for your pre-meet then you can wear them then but other than that training spikes are for training and keep competition spikes for competition time or competition season so my second tip for you guys is do not walk on the hard surface with your spikes okay so a lot of people have a really bad habit of just walking on the concrete mashing up the spike pins guys if you walk on the hard concrete your spike pins will wear down very very quickly now when you are in training avoid walking on the concrete i know at times in competition it's unavoidable because sometimes the only way that they bring you out onto the track is on the concrete then fair enough but that's one day if you're doing it all the time in training your spikes are more likely to wear down so avoid walking on the concrete walk back on the astro on the grass on the track where it's softer or take your spikes off after a run if you want to walk back because even that walking back on your heel all the time can put pressure on your achilles and stuff like that if you do have issues with that so try to avoid walking back on the hard surface and don't walk inside in your facility with your spikes either on the non-track surface on the ground but whatever the surface is because you'll mash up the surface so not only look after your spike but look after the facility where you guys train as well okay guys and my last tip it goes along the same lines of having trainer spikes but it's actually differentiating your trainer spikes having different trainer spikes so again i know this might be a costly way to maintain your spikes but a lot of time maintenance does cost a little bit extra if you want to keep things nice for longer so if you do have trainer spikes that you have for the track but also have trainer spikes that you use for the grass or muddy days and that will help make your spikes last longer as well stay nicer for longer and again you don't have to buy a new spikes but maybe one of your old old pair of spikes could become your hill spikes or your muddy spikes or your wet day trainer spikes okay because then you can not have to worry about those ones those ones are the ones that you know are going to be muddy or the ones that you put longer back pins in for the hill so if you have separate spikes for wet and muddy days and then separate spikes for you know your normal training days and then your competition spikes that will help your spikes last longer so guys that's the video if you liked it give it a big thumbs up to help me accelerate my channel to let the algorithm know so that more people can see this video and let me know in the comment section below what do you do to maintain your spike and if it is competition season for you and you're watching this video and you're like i don't really know what to do in training before my race how do i get ready for my race and you're a sprinter then make sure to check out my pre-meet tips video for sprinters and I will see you guys next Friday. Bye guys.